you measure the depth of human sacrifice. He went into the service before he was 18. He served three years. He was out before he was 21. How do you comprehend the true cost of freedom? Those three years changed his life a lot. He really grew up a lot. You begin in a place like this. Until the day she died, she thought son was going to come home. That was just a matter of time, but he never came home. He still had to get my grandparents to, to, I guess, to let him sign up because he was under 18. 59 years ago, Pat Nolan's dad walked into an Army recruiting station in Nashville and said, I want to fight this war. But he wasn't big on school. I think he decided it was better for him to fight the Japanese than fight the books. Remember that. He came over to kiss me goodbye, and I pretended to be asleep because I didn't want to tell him goodbye. Because right around the same time, Patrick and James Langdon's brother, David, found himself in the very same spot. He got drafted. Determined to fend off evil halfway across the world. He was in the, the bulge. He was captured by the Germans, and that's when they, they lost him, didn't know where he was. As 18-year-olds, the only thing these men should have been worried about was getting their diploma from Father Ryan High School. He said, all I could think about all night long was how am I going to die tomorrow. Instead, they just wanted to survive, to make it home. People hated getting telegrams because a telegram was usually going to be something bad. It wasn't going to be something good. By the end of 1942, after a year of war, 35,000 Americans in uniform had died. Before the war could end, 10 times that many would lose their lives. My dad was a part of the greatest generation, but he passed away before anybody knew that. generation of men and women who were not just great, they were extraordinary. At the time he was kind of young, so you can see a little bit of apprehension. And yet when it came to how much they had to sacrifice, here's a big one of them. 17-year-old Leanne Hasty has learned they were humble. It was more of something that needed to be done and I was just a person that did it. A few years ago, when her quest into her great-grandfather's genealogy began, it revealed to this now high school junior at Father Ryan that he should have received a Purple Heart. It was in the mailbox, and one of the neighbors took it out and stole it, so he never got it. The deeper she dug, the more apparent it became her heart couldn't rest until she found his. Didn't think it was right that he never got it, and I think he deserved it. As Leanne continued to work toward a degree of her own, war, she realized, had robbed dozens of alumni of their diplomas. Class of 61. My father always wanted his diploma, and... Uh... Born from that realization... And today he's getting it. Yeah, thank you. He is. <laughs> the Hero Project. Turns out, a six decades old problem could in a way be fixed. On behalf of a grateful nation and a proud Father Ryan community, we present this diploma in honor of and in memory of David Leo Langdon. His diploma now in their hands, it became clear to David Langdon's family this day might be more important to them than it would have been to him. He felt like he was doing his duty, like everyone, you know, at that time. And uh, we're just very proud of what he did do. Funny thing is, David Langdon was just the beginning. Robert Bernard, James M. Burns, and Mr. Dan Fogarty. There were more names. <laughs> Mr. Jerry Keough. More veterans. Class of 1945. 44. 43. More diplomas to hand out. And our last Hero Project honoree today. Remember when Pat Nolan said his dad was more concerned about fighting the Japanese than fighting the books? Well, he never managed to get his diploma. Patrick J. Nolan, Jr., class of 1944. I have welcome you in our country, Pat. Thank you for your father's service. To you and I, it might just look like a piece of paper, 
To Pat Nolan, it's his father's legacy. He never got that chance to be thanked quite the same way. Some of those who live for a long time have. So that's nice. I guess the diploma kind of means that. A generation that gave so much, now getting something back. He'd be very honored. With photojournalist Mike Rose, Visconti, News Channel 5 HD.